Hi everyone, or should I say buongiorno? Welcome to my second travel guide about the beautiful Italian cities. This one is about the beautiful, the romantic Venice. I went there twice, once with each ex-boyfriend of mine, which is a tradition I won't be continuing going forward, but I would go back to the city anyways. Because just like Rome, around every corner, there's a new beautiful church or a beautiful palazzo. You can travel Venice by Vaporetto, which is a water bus, or just on foot. There are no cars allowed in the city. I stayed at Al Canal Reggio Hotel, which was great. Again, I will be telling you 10 reasons why you should visit Venice. The best things to do there and what to eat. The number one place to be as a tourist in Venice is the San Marco Square. It is known for the most expensive coffees and it gets flooded as well every once in a while. The best known facade is the one of the San Marco Basilica. Try having a look inside if the line isn't too long. The same goes for its bell tower, the Campanile di San Marco. From this high tower, you have an amazing view over the city. We were able to do these visits at about 5 p.m. in the afternoon on a Sunday when most of the tourists had gone, so the lines were super short. Also worth a visit is the Doge's Palace. This used to be the residence of the Doge of Venice, the ruler of the former republic. You can visit the beautiful rooms and libraries, as well as the institutional rooms linked to the ancient prison by the Bridge of Sighs, which is where the prisoners could throw a last look onto the city before entering the cells. On the square you can also visit a national archaeological museum. Around Venice there are multiple islands and the best known islands are Murano and Burano. Burano is known for the beautiful colorful houses and Murano is known around the world for the glass blowers. You can go there and buy a glass souvenir, big or small, like some earrings. And if you're lucky you might come across a glass blower that is demonstrating his crafts. On the way to Murano, you will pass by an island that is completely used as a cemetery, which is also interesting to see. Another sight to see is the Rialto Bridge crossing the Gran Canal. It connects the cozy Canareggio district, where a lot of the great hotels are situated, with the lower part of the city where most of the touristic attractions are. It is the perfect viewpoint from where you can see the hustle and bustle going on on the water like a garbage boat picking up the garbage instead of a truck. I like seeing those kinds of things. There is also no way you can leave Venice without going on a gondola ride. It is a great way to explore the city and to get some extra information. We managed to get a good deal at around 7 p.m. when everyone was having dinner. It's not cheap because they know that you can't leave without having done it. It was lovely though at 7 p.m. with the sun starting to set. Whilst in a gondola or a vaporetto, you pass by many palazzos. These are incredibly beautiful houses. Palazzo Contarnini is known for its beautiful staircase. You can also visit this one and you have a great panorama view from the top. In February, carnival festivities are held throughout the city. You will often see dressed up people walk through the streets. There are countless stores that sell masks, and beautifully tailored costumes. It is said to be a more expensive period to visit the city, but we went there during this time without knowing it just because it was such a good deal. It wasn't that expensive at all. So I would say it depends, do your research. Another famous event that is held in the city is the Biennale. Every two years, art exhibitions pop up around the city and you can visit them. For a permanent collection of art, you should be at the Peggy Guggenheim Museum. Around every corner in Venice, there is another incredibly beautiful church. The city looks like one big island, but it's actually a lot of mini islands connected by bridges and canals, and every single mini island has its own church. So there are so many churches. One that will undoubtedly catch your eye is the Basilica di Santa Maria della Salute. The next up is the Jewish Quarter, also known as the Ghetto. It is located in the Canareggio district. Try finding one of the five synagogues or visit the Jewish Museum. There are also lots of restaurants that offer Jewish cuisine. Talking about food, one of the main reasons to go to Venice is the Italian food. There is fresh pizza and pasta 
everywhere. You'll probably want to enjoy a dessert as well, just like in Rome and in Firenze. You have a gelato, a tiramisu, any pistachio dessert, my fave. End the day with a delicious bellini on one of the beautiful piazzas or with a view over the many canals. The romantic Taverna al Remer has a, its own piazza that looks out on the Grand Canal, which is beautiful, and it also serves amazing food. There, that's it, my 10 reasons why you should visit Venice. If you want to know 10 reasons to visit Rome, you should go check out that video and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss my next video that will be about Firenze, Florence, which will be my first video on location, hopefully one of the many to come. I am so excited, I can't wait. This city has been on my bucket list for so long. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Arrivederci!